Hey, how's it going? Nice Welcome back to another episode of Summertime Saga. Full of my chronic hentai addiction. Let's continue. Let's see. Who's. Who should I do today? No? Gain the money. Okay. Let me go with um. Right. I guess going to go to the last one. Ugh. Did you two find it? No. Are you sure you didn't leave it at home? Of course, I'm sorry, Miss A. What do I look like an idiot or something? I didn't say that. May have. May as well have. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> You're the worst help ever. Sigh. I don't suppose one of you brought an extra uniform. No, my backup's in the wash. Yeah, I didn't bring mine either. With Missy's tiny tits, your uniform wouldn't fit you anyways. Shut up, skank. Ha <laughs> ha Don't worry. You'll hit puberty someday. Sigh. You two are worthless. But... <laughs> I switched to Mr. Status with Sigh. You two are worth this. You know that? Psh, whatever. Not my fault you have your uniform at home. I guess I'll, I, I guess we'll just have to see. To, uh, I guess we'll just have to go and get it. What? You want us to walk to your place right now? Yeah, fuck that. Come on, you dumb bitches. I don't want to walk there all by myself. No way. If I skip another French lesson, Miss B said it's going to rape my, rape my parents. Oh, your mom would totally whoop your ass for that to happen. I don't right? Fine. We'll just go without you, right, Becca? Seriously? It's too hot to walk all the way to your place. And besides, your cousin freaks me out. You guys suck. Hey, girls. What's going on? Um, why are you talking to us? Nerd, nerd alert. I forgot my cheerleading uniform at home. All my fr all my my friends <laughs> she said sarcastically. <laughs> they are too good to go and get it go with me to get it. Hey, I totally would if it wasn't for Miss Bichette. Whatever. I'll go with you. You know if you want. Ew. Why would you <clears throat> why would she want to go anywhere with you, geek boy? Fine, let's go. What? You're seriously going with this loser? Well, I don't want to walk across town on my own. And since you two slut bags won't come, what choice do I have? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, but I mean, just look at him. He's so... Losery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's not even a word. Ah, would you two set up already? Come on, Golden. Let's get out. Let's get this over with. See you, slut bags. <laughs> Snap my fingers and it caused me to jam my nail. Fuck, what the hell? Uh -huh. What are you laughing at? That nerd just called you a slut bag. Huh? He called us both slut bags, moron. Oh, right. Hey, don't call me a moron, you twat. <laughs> Is that just like the entire thing? So I guess I could like, trailer park, right? In the trailer. What? <clears throat> What the hell are you doing home? I'm oh, sorry, no, she had the deep voice. What the hell are you doing home? You ain't supposed to be missing no more school. Ugh, relax. I just came to get something at all. And I see about your cute boyfriend of yours. He's not my boyfriend. I just don't want to walk t across town on my own. Well, if he ain't your boyfriend, can he be mine? <laughs> Ugh, shut up, Mom. So what are your intentions, my daughter? Huh? You know, your intentions. Planning on fornicating with her. What? No, ma'am. I'm just here helping her out with school. <laughs> no need to get all embarrassed. I'm just curious as all. If you're going to be having that intercourse with my daughter, you better find yourself a good job. We don't need another deadbeat around here. Really, ma'am? We're just friends. Keep the Did they... Did they 
he is blushing. <laughs> you're turning, look at you, turning red. I swear you're cuter than a socks on a rooster. Did you move my cheerleading uniform somewhere? Not that I recall. I can't find it. But what do you expect me to do about it? Nothing, Mom. Just sit there on your ass and drink all day, as usual. Roxanne, now I done told you, told you not to be talking to me like that. I do plenty around here. Why, right just this morning, your cousin came for a bit of business, and we was... Hold on a second. Clyde was here this morning? Yeah. Damn it. He is sitting out on that stupid tractor drinking again. How should I know? Oh, come with me, Golden. That girl needs a woman. What? Alright, where is it, you stupid buddy? Huh? What are you talking about now? Can't you see? I'm fixing the suit stuff here. My cheerleading uniform. I know you took it. Why would he take your cheerleading uniform? Because he's an idiot. Hey, I'm not an idiot. My dog just needs something to wear at the shooting range, though. See? <laughs> that ain't no dog. Ain't she the cutest thing you ever saw? <laughs> Gasp. You asshole. I told you not to put my clothes on that disgusting animal of yours. Hey, now, don't call. Don't talk, be talking about my dog like that. I'm so confused. Give it back. Nope, don't think I will. I gotta practice for a state fair. My dog's keeping my spirits up. If I'm winning her one of them big stuff beavers this year, for sure. Oink, oink. Clyde, this isn't funny. I need it for school. Do you hear me laughing? This is serious business. My dog wants one of them stuffed beavers. He's particularly fond of the pink one. You know that's a pig, right? Nah, they're beavers. I'm pretty sure. No, I mean your dog. Yeah, I love that dog. Don't bother. He's an idiot. Clyde, give me my uniform or I'll get Dexter to kick your ass. Ha! Dexter ain't gonna do that. You know me and him get along like peas and carrots. Sid, I forgot about that. Aren't you guys going through a rough patch anyways? Yeah, but dummy here doesn't know that. <laughs> what did you do to Dexter? He's good people, man. You actually like Dexter? You're damn skippy, I do. You should have seen this. You should have seen us this one time. We was over at the old co Cooter's place doing a bit of cow tipping and Dexter up and oh my god. Would you shut up and give me my uniform? Is you deaf or something? I done told you my dog using it. Golden, do something. Uh, come on, Clyde. Isn't there something we can do to exchange the uniform? Hmm. I might be willing to give it back if Roxy sells me. <laughs> huh? In your dreams, you fucking heck. Now, now. No need to get all bitchy. I'm just messing with you. Unless you're gonna do it. <laughs> now, uh. Didn't you say something about a shooting range? Yeah, buddy. It's just over yonder. I built myself. I put a little wager then. A wager, huh? If I would suit you, rocks to get your uniform back. And when I win, I'll pay you $100. $100? That's not a bad idea. But no deal. I want to see them booby. You're out of your mind. Them is my terms. You want that uniform, don't you? Don't worry, Roxy, I won't lose. We got us out of the deal yet? Oh, fine. Five seconds. If Golden loses, you can look at them for five seconds. So we. I've been waiting for them puppies for years. You'd better win. I will. So. But it didn't even give me a chance to do it. Let me see them beautiful things. I thought you said you were a good suit. Well, I'm not used to using that rifle. I don't want to do this. Hey, you promised me five seconds. A deal is a deal, damn it. So whip them out, girly. God, I'm never going to forgive you for this, Golden. Sweet Jesus. That's just the prettiest damn thing I've seen. He's fixated on them. I am looking respectfully. 
So he's not even. I didn't even look and put up. I am. Oh my god. Yeah, that's just disgusting, Clyde. Ain't my fault. You damn sweet boobies done it. Fine, I need to sour now. Well, I'm happier than a woodpecker than a be Great, can I have my uniform now? No, I don't think so. Now, if you would kindly get out of here, I got some practicing to do. Double or nothing. What? Double or nothing. If I win, we get the uniform. And when I win, I shall give you, t give you, we'll let you look for 10 seconds. What the fuck, Golden? You've already seen them once. I like your style, Golden. I'm in for a double. You guys are both assholes. I won't lose twice. Uh, whatever. Okay, yeah, last time it stopped, like, way too soon. So you're supposed to lose the first time, I guess. Dang, you finally got me. It's about time. I reckon I gotta pay up now. Sorry, girl. I'll have to find you something else to <clears throat> oink. Now you done made my dog run off. Ugh, you can't be serious. It's got my uniform. I told you she wouldn't be, she wouldn't be inclined to giving it back. And don't worry, she probably just ran on home. I'll get her. You best be careful now. My dog ain't particularly fond of strangers. It'll be okay. I'm good with animals. How about that? You're dating Dr. Doolittle. We're not dating. <laughs> Whatever you say, Roxanne. You gotta, you just make sure that, you're, that your new boyfriend and your doesn't do no shooting at the fair this year. That stuff beaver's mine, you hear? No problem. How many times do I have to tell you he isn't my boyfriend? And don't call me Roxanne. Whatever you say, cuz. What? I can't believe how awful he is. He's certainly a colorful fellow. Come on. Let's get that stupid pig. Sure thing. Oink. 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 There you are. Snort. Disgusting thing. Nah, you're cute, aren't you? Oink! Sorry, girl. You gotta give the uniform back to Roxy. Squeak! <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure Clyde will find something else for you to wear. Snort! Yeah, probably from my wardrobe. What's... Uh, what a mask. Come on, let's get back to my place. I have to wash the pig stink off this. Oink. This is disgusting. Ugh, stupid Clyde. I swear I'm going to butcher that pig and turn it into bacon. I'd never seen anyone wash clothes with a hose before. Roxy certainly didn't have it easy at her home. I should have offered to help, but I was a little more than distracted. What's that goofy look for? Golden Austin. Huh? What are you staring at? N nothing. Well, go wait for me in my room. I've got to wash this stuff. Your room? Yeah. Just don't touch anything. Okay. Roxy takes pretty good care of her room. It's not nearly as messy as the rest of her place. I'll have to do, I guess. I like your room. Oh, shut up. How could anyone like this dump? Come on, it's not that bad. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say. You don't have to share a bed with your mother. You share a bed with your mom? I... No. I mean... Just shut up. I should get changed for practice before we head back to school. Okay. Go on now, you already got a sew at the suiting reins. I'm not about to give you another. 
Go wait up for me outside. Oh, my bad. Hmm. I wonder what if I had won the first time. Would you have let me stay? You're ready to head back? Yep. Looks like we made it back in time. Thanks for your help today. No problem, Roxy. Hey, you found it. Uh, obviously. She's wearing it, isn't she? Oh, shut up. What's the geek still doing here? Don't call him names. Huh? He's a nice guy. What, are you in love with him or something? Pfft, no. He just helped me out of a jam today, and I think that you should be nicer to him. Whatever. Got a little crest on gold. Haha. <laughs> what do you think, Missy? Yeah, he's kind of cute. <laughs> That's not what I meant. What's the matter with you two? I'm going to practice. Pick a four. I don't quite understand the question. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Huh? Oh, right. Whatever. Don't get it. Oh, don't let it go to your head. I don't like you or anything. I just appreciate your help is all. Okay. I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see. Well, that was a crazy day. I think Grouch is actually starting to warm up to me. I should look for more opportunities to get close with her. Hey there, Roxy. Grouch, go away. Come on, Roxy. I didn't intend to, for you to recite my speech with me. Don't remind me. You're lucky I don't beat the shit out of you for that. I was completely humiliated. Yeah, well, I don't want to read it either. Who cares what you want? Listen, I'm sorry, alright? I want to make it up to you. Oh, really? How do you think you're going to do that? Well, we have the French exam coming up, and I thought I could maybe help you study for it. Why would I want to study for that stupid class? Don't you think... Don't you care about your grades? Pfft, no. The only thing I cared about was cheer and the cheer squad, and that's all over now. Huh? You're not on the cheer squad anymore? What happened? That stupid dyke, Coach Bridget. Ew, isn't that a slur? Did, did, I just do an, did I just do a homophobia? Oh, no. Coach Bridget. She got all pissy the other day, yelling about how I don't listen to her or something. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. But she took my pom-poms and suspended me. For how long? Until the state championship. How am I supposed to practice without my pom-poms? What if I got them back for you? Pfft, yeah, right, I'm serious. That would not make up for embarrassing you the other day, wouldn't it? I guess. Then you say it done. I'll bring those. I'll be right back with those pom poms. Whatever. Hmm. Roxy's pom poms. I bet Coach Bridget has them set away in her office somewhere. Ain't her the one with the office here? Yes. Oh crap! She's in here. Can I help you? Um. Um. Yes. No. I was just. Excuse me. I need to use the restroom. What a weirdo. What's the plan? I need to get this pom pom from the rocks to attend the exam. Wait, I have an idea. Oh crap, she's in here. Can I help you? Erm, um, um, yes? No, I was just. Excuse me, I need to use the restroom. What a weirdo. Okay. So that wasn't the answer. Okay, I can't use that to skip forward anymore. Go to sleep. Okay, go back outside. Map. She has a class first period, so she won't be in her office. Alright, she's not in here. This is my chance to find those pom poms. Hmm. Now, where could they be? Oh, that's it. I skip. Locker? There they are. Awesome. It took the panties and not the pom-poms. Now to get these back to rocks. 
Yeah, yeah, just head to the crack. I'll meet you there. I need to change first. Oh, crap, she's coming. I'm so dead. What am I going to do? I got to hide somewhere. This is the only place to hide. I just hope she doesn't look in here. It was a bit of it was a bit tight, but I managed to fit to get inside the locker just in time. Too, Coach Bridget had almost caught me. All I could do now was qu keep quiet and hope she didn't find me. There she is. Please don't look in here. Man, it's sure cooking out there. I'm sweating like a whole church. She's undressing. I am so dead if she finds me. Hmm. I hope you're paying attention. Does he know? I'd hate for you to miss the gun, so... Damn, girl. Better put those away before they hurt somebody. What a weirdo. Hmm, thought it hurt something. Maybe, must have been my imagination. I think she's gone. Hmm. Is Rox skipping class today? That's not good. Miss Bridget might have have her expelled. Go Golden? Hey, Eve. What's up? Roxy and Dexter are going at it again at the basketball court. Come on, we're going to miss it again. All right, let's go. You seriously won't get us booze? Not in this year. Apologize. For forget it. Come on, Rax, just apologize. Party's gonna suck without alcohol. No way. He's acting like a big baby. Oh, first I'm stupid, now I'm a baby? Which is it, Roxy? Both. You're a big, stupid baby. Ho <laughs> ho. What the fuck you laughing at, Missy? Nothing. Er, I'm not. My bad. I think I skipped something. Fuck you. You know what? That's it. I'm done with you. Yeah, well, that's fun. Come on, girls. Let's ditch this stupid asshole. Uh. Roxy, what are you going to do for drinks? What are you looking at, skinny skank? Beep. Girl, I need to punch some. Damn, that was harsh. I feel bad for ever who crosses his path right now. For real. Come on, we should go back to Miss Brissette's class. Yeah, it looks like Roxy has heading that way too. Maybe I should talk to her about this. Hey there, Roxy. I got your pom poms. No, you don't. Didn't. Seriously, here you go. See? You really got them. I told you I would. So you forgive me for the other day? Yeah, sir. And you'll show up to the French exam? Well, hold on. That wasn't part of the agreement. Come on, Roxy. Absolutely not. But Miss Bissette could get fired if you skip out. Awesome. That's even more reason for me to blow it off. I hate to be the third, that third world bitch. Huh? French isn't third world. Pff, whatever. I'm glad. I'll be glad to see her gone. Some, 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 some. I skipped text. Why does it double tap the... I hate when it does that. But is this is so back, but... <sighs> I don't think so, dweeb. Now scram. I gotta start the... I gotta start from the new routine for the state championship. Wait, that's it? What now? I could help with your routine. Yeah, right. What do you know about cheering? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. But Jenny does. She was head cheerleader at her college. Who? Oh, a girl that lives in the same house as me. Her squad won state bunch of times in high school. I could get her to help you with your routine. You aren't lying? Nope. Alright, if you can get her to help me, I'll show you up for that stupid test. But I'm copying all the answers off of you. It's fine by me. Well, go ask her already. Such a you're such a loser. I'm going. B e e e e. Damn, I got an e and everything, but fucking 
English. French, I mean, not English. Same language. Hey, Jenny. What do you want? I need to ask something. How much are you paying me? I haven't even told you what it is yet. Good point. I stood here to all the details before I set the price. There's a girl at school who needs help with her cheerleading routine. Is this some girl you're trying to bang? Huh? No. Why not? Is she ugly? No, she's gorgeous, but a total bitch. Mm, I like her already. Should I help her with her routine? $500. What? Are you nuts? That's the price. Pay up or get out. Couldn't you just help me out? Good one. $500. Fine. I'll come back when I've got the money. Okay, I just need to find that camera and get out of here as quickly as possible. She probably keeps it. Is that her diary? I have to check that out. So, I guess I'll deliver some pizzas. Well, hey there, champ. You're just in time. I got some pies for me to deliver with your name on them. Oh, um, actually. What you got there? Milk delivery for you. What, are you working two jobs now? Am I not paying you enough? <laughs> no, it's not, no, it's not like that. I'm just helping out my friend. Your friend? Yeah, the milk business is hers. Your friend, your friend is Auntie Diane? The lady on the label? Yep. No kidding. What a small world. I don't know what kind of cows your friend be using, but her milk is amazing. Our food had gone up a whole nother level since we started using it. <laughs> I'm sure Diane will be happy to hear that. I'm not joking, champ. You tell her the next time I'm going to triple my order. <laughs> okay. Uh, where should I put this? All right, one second. Hey, Maria! Get your butt in here for a second. Sigh. Eh, why is it always you interrupt my food, Calzone, Tony? Oh, hey there, kid. What you got there? He brought us milk. For he brought us the milk order. What? You're working two jobs now? Are we not paying you enough? That's what I asked him. It's my friend. <laughs> I'm Italian now, too. <laughs> it's my friend's business. I'm just giving her a hand. Oh. Well, that's sweet of you. Come with me in the back. I'll show you where it goes. Yep, right behind you. You can put them in the refrigerator unit over here. Alright. It's nothing fancy, but it... <laughs> Maria tripped over the bag of flour on the floor. The bag of flour started to fall, desperately grabbing at the shelf as she went down. Unfortunately, she managed to knock a couple can of crushed tomatoes over before tumbling head over heels <laughs> into a heap on the floor. I was frozen like a deer in headlights said she laid there half exposed. Ow. Are, are you alright? Maria! I heard screaming. See you alright. Jesus, Maria, you're on display for the whole world to see. Ah, uh, shut up, Donnie. It ain't like I did it on purpose. You're the one who keeps leaving the flower on, sitting on the floor for me to trip over. I don't know. I don't know why you can't just put things back where they belong. I'll get it. I forgot, all right. <laughs> You're making the kid do everything around here. It's all right. I don't mind. You sure you aren't hurt? Yeah, I'm fine. Come here. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sure I'll make sure it don't happen again. You better. Now pay the kid and put the milk away yourself. It will be your penance for nearly killing me. You got it, darling. This to take care of the milk. Alright. And thank you for putting the flour away, champ. Yeah, no problem. You're a good kid. Now run along back to your friend and give her my regards, will ya? Sure thing. See ya, Tony.
And don't forget your Leo job is here. We got deliveries waiting for you. All right, Milk. Let's get you in the fridge, eh? Sorry, I'm supposed to give this money to Diane. Hey there, Gold. I'm glad you decided to come and help me. Okay, this is generic dialogue. Delivery. I made your delivery for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gold. Did Donnie say anything? Uh, he said the milk was has really taken their pizza to a whole new level. <gasps> so he liked it? Yeah, I'd say so. He wants to triple his next order. Triple? Hmm. Is that a problem? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know if I can handle. I mean, my cow. I don't know if she can handle that much d demand. Sounds like you might need to expand to and get more cattle. I'm definitely not ready for yet. I'll just have to push her harder and start stockpiling. Can I do anything to help? No, that's all right. You've helped me plenty already. Why don't you get back to garden work? Yeah, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. This is yours. On huh, the entire payment from the delivery? I told you, Golden, that this isn't the money. My money make a money making endeavor for me. At least not at the moment. You take it and put it towards your tuition. Thanks, Diane. You're welcome, handsome. Hundred bucks. Okay. Pizza time. Let me deliver some pizzas. <laughs> it out there. I threw another lecture for the perfect run. Thanks, Tony. My pleasure, buddy. What the fuck are you doing? Nothing, I just... Get out of my room, you perv. Why are you always in such a foul mood? Get out of my room, Golden. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay. I guess I'll just sleep until the morning then. Jesus fucking bitch. Okay, I need to find the camera. It's quick. Okay, yeah, nope, not interested. <sighs> Where the hell is Jenny? I got enough fire to make it help. What did Jenny say? I haven't asked her yet. Okay, I guess I can't. Okay, where the fuck is Jenny then? Afternoon. Okay. Sleep. Generic dialogue.
I could. I had to go and take. Okay, I'm so I'm so bored. I've been in school for like four years now, and I'm still li living here with these losers. It's even more depressing as I'm single. At least my ex knew how to spoil me. Anyway, if I could find a famous, i.e. rich guy to take care of me, don't I at least deserve that? I'm like super hot. I don't, I just hope I don't have to get a job. I fucking hate working. Ugh. The police said his death was suspicious, but they didn't find any evidence that proved a foul play. Debbie has really been struggling with the whole situation. I totally knew that. I totally knew they were boing, boing, boning, boining, booning, boning. I totally knew they were boning. The worst part is I practice. I'm. The worst part is, is that now I'm stuck living with his loser son. He's so pathetic. I bet he's still a virgin. I mean, who would want to pop that little dark cherry? At least Debbie says he'll be working for Diane this summer. Hopefully that means he'll get off my back about losing my job. I still, she still thinks I quit. There is no way I'm telling her that I got fired. I just had a he just had a huge fight with Debbie about finding work. As if I belong in a grocery store or a movie theater. Don't you realize I'm way too pretty for that shit? I to be an actress or a model or something. Uh, I said never have broken up with F Cedric. He may have been a meat. He may have been a meathead, but at least he was uh, a obedient. I could have crashed at his place well until I found a way to make the big to make big back. I had him solo trained too. He totally knew how to spoil me, and when I needed other things, mm. God, I haven't had sex in like months. My kitty is going crazy. So this morning I messaged, I was messaging Jane, and she, she said I could always come work with her at the library. I told her, I told her I would think about it. Yeah, right. Can you imagine? So boring. See what's going on about this website called Slutty Graham. Apparently, people pay girls to post pictures. There, there. She probably found it while looking for hookups. She was always been a slut. Like she doesn't get enough dick at her sex addicts group. Slutty Graham might be worth looking into though. I bet they had paid me top dollar for my pics. Maybe I can even turn turn on the waterwork and guilt Debbie into buying me a camera. Oh my god, I can't believe that freaking pervert. First I catch Golden Austin spying on me in the shower, shower, and now he's even peeping on me in my room. I bet he pictures me when he plays with himself. Who wouldn't to be aged? What other those are? So thirsty, it's a sad lol. I did manage to blackmail some money out of him though. Totally enough for a camera. Maybe he even knew vibe. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm so fucking horny right now. Flicking my bean like a caveman is super lame. Hopefully the slutty gram thing pays out huge. I'm so sick of being broke all the time. Holy shit. Slutty gram is such a waste of time. It takes forever to build up a subscriber base. It's not even making me that much money. I had gold nasa and take some naughty pictures. Of me to po- I'm losing- Why did I switch halfway from my voice to the fucking- To a mixture of- To like, her voice to Roxy's voice. It's fucking weird. Talk about dreams coming true for that virgin boy. My subs tripled practically overnight. I'm just, my subs tripled practically overnight. I, but it isn't enough. I guess it's because- I guess it's back to the drawing board to make money. Why can't people just- see, Just pay to see me being a sexy bitch? Playground sounded like a perfect gig. Well, I can't believe how conceited, con conceited, conceited she is. I should hurry up and find the camera. Maybe it's in her nightstand.
I'm gonna find dicks. Hmm, it's not here. Are those her panties? I did find dicks. What the fuck, Golden? What are you looking at my- What are you doing in my room, you little loser? Nothing. Yeah, right. You stumbled here by accident, huh? Not exactly. That's it. Huh? Why? Oh, I get it. You're pathetic, you know that? You'd rather sit in your room fapping the stolen pictures of me than go to- Than find a real girlfriend. No. Ha- Yeah, right. Tell you what. I'll let you look at the pictures, okay? Y you will? Sure. Did she say 50 bucks? What? 60 bucks and you can look at them for two minutes. Two minutes. You're on your mind. You're the pathetic one who's hard to get his rocks off. You want to see the sexy pics or not? I'm not paying you 60 dollars for a couple stupid pictures. Excuse me? You heard me. Hmm. 30 bucks. No. Seriously? Just get out. What? Get out of my fucking room before I tell mom you're perving on me. Gladly. Is that a pain in my ass? Damn, I really wanted to see those pictures. But not so much though. They're walk over me. At least I found out she's... If you get, so at least I found out she's got a diary. And that's how sexy frustrated she is. Haha. <laughs> Oh my god, what do you want now? Nothing, I just... Better have a good reason for bothering me. So about Roxy's routine, did you bring the money? Here. Perfect. Tell what's her name, she can come see me after school tomorrow. Her name is Roxy, whatever. Jenny said to stop by tomorrow after school and she'll help you with your routine. Your house? Ah, oh, this better be worth it. It will be. Remember, you promised to show up to the test. Yeah, yeah. If this Jenny actually helps, I will. Now get out of here before somebody sees me talking to you. I should head home, make sure Jenny doesn't flake on Roxy. Hey, Golden, what's up? So, hey, so, uh, I heard you and Becca talking about drinks for some party. Yeah. We usually hang out on the beach on the weekend, and Dexter always buys us beer. I guess we'll have to find something else, figure something else out. Mm -hmm. What if I got you some beers? You? Sure, why not? You really think you can get us some? Maybe. If you can figure out a way, I'll owe you to get us some. I'll owe you big time. Okay, I'll look into it. Hmm. Wonder if Eric would let me take some from his basement. I should ask him about it. Go to evening and go see Eric. Hey Eric, hey Gold, what's up? Roxy asked me to get her some drinks for her and her friends. You wouldn't mind if I took some from Mr. Johnson's beer from the basement, would you? You want to help? You want me to help to provide Roxy and her friends with alcohol? Uh, yeah. No way, dude. You realize how much grief they give me in school? Yeah, I know, ma'am. Think of this as a chance to get on her good side. Uh, no thanks. I'm pretty sure all her sides are equally bad. I already understand. Thanks, Amos. Sorry, Gold. You know I'll do anything for you, dude. Just I don't want to get involved with Roxy. No worries. I'll figure out something. Oh, wait. Hmm? What about a fake ID? A fake ID? What do you know about fake IDs? Oh, uh, I kind of sort of looked into it a few years ago. What the heck would you need a fake ID for? For a video game I wanted. An adult game. 
Are you telling me you have to have a fake ID? No, I uh, couldn't afford it, but I know where you can get one. All right, where? I read about it online. There's this guy at the pier who makes them for four hundred dollars. Hmm, down the pier, huh? All right, I'll look into it. Good luck, dude. I should head back to Roxy's. I should head back to Roxy and see what she thinks about all this. Masturbates an option now. I should get ready for school. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Hey, Roxy. Oh, what are you doing here, nerd? Shut up, Becca. Bone Austin is going to get us drinks for the party. He is? Yeah, right. He is. Aren't you, Golden? Yeah, about that. I couldn't get the alcohol. See, I knew it. This nerd isn't good for anything. I think I can get you a fake ID, though. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Apparently there's a guy down the pier who makes them. Would that work? <laughs> Hell yeah, it'll work. Alright, let's talk to the guy. Alright, come with me. Come and see us when you get all the details. Attention must be set. Makes them for 400 bucks. Let me withdraw 400. And go to the pier. Sounds like the ocean around here. People say it's the best possible session. Getting dared. Hello. What can I I'm is it bad I'm half tempted to also give him the this muffin voice. Oh Well what do we have here? Come do a bit of fishing, have we? Uh well what makes you think of that? Oh I know fisherman when I see one here. What's your name, lad? Golden Austin. Nice to meet you, Golden Austin. Captain Terry at your service. Is this your dog? Indeed it is. And it has my shop. Fish, tequila, the two things I love best in this world. The two the two things you love best, huh? Eh, of course, not more than you. Uh-huh. Who is this then? This here is Golden Austin. He's come here to do a bit of fishing. Hello, miss. Meet the lovely Sarah. Your wife? Lord, no, lad. My wife is the sea. Sarah here means far more to me than any wife. She's the love of my life, my first mate, my business partner. <laughs> Alright, well done. I'll forgive you for the fist and tequila remark. Anything I can do for, the, for you boys, give me a holler, okay? Will do, love. Will do. Nice to meet you, Golden. You too, Miss Sarah. Oh, oh, I always hate to see her leave. I always hate to see her go, but I love watching her leave. So what's the best place to fish around your time, Okay. Well, that would be right off the dock, of course. Just cast line and share and fish. Any other tips? Hmm? Pay close attention. Wait. I, what, to what bait you're using? Because not every fish like the same type. Okay. Oh, and if you catch anything around here... Remember, I'll buy it off you for a good price. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and don't go in the water, huh? How come? They're dangerous things swimming around this dock. Really? You can bet your... You can bet your derriere on it. The fishing great. The fishing's great, but you don't want to be swimming here. Okay, check out. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, you go. Alright, good luck out there, skipper. Maybe it's him I'm supposed to talk to. Hello? Hmm, he must be sleeping. Um, excuse me? Got any naked pics of your girlfriend? No, wanna buy some? Uh, what? 
A strange pirate. Hey, Cam. Hello there, Skipper. Anything I can do for you? Hey, Cam. Terry, can I ask you something? Hey, what about Skipper? I heard a rumor recently, and I was wondering if you knew anything about making fake IDs. Oh, no. Whereabouts did you hear that rumor like that from? <laughs> I, um... Let's say a friend mentioned a friend mentioned to me. Hmm, I see. Well, if I did know something, then it would be it wouldn't be smart of me gab blabbing about it now, would it? Eh, yeah, I suppose not. What a fine boy like you need a fake ID for? More than happy to give you a drink or two from the bar. Not for me, Captain. You see, there's this um girl. Oh, find yourself a pretty one, have you? <laughs> yeah. Well. Say, well, say no more. If the lady needs a fake ID, then a fake ID I shall provide. Really? Sure. Just bring me an up-to-date photo of the last and four hundred dollars, and I'll get it done in Jiffy. Thanks, Captain. My pleasure, Skipper. Got to go to school and get it. Let's go. Uh, and you're back, uh, back again. Don't you have anything better to do than bother us? Do you ever shut up, Becca? <laughs> she never switched up. Screw you, Missy. Sigh. What did you find, Golden? I can get you the fake ID, no problem. Really? That's awesome, Golden. It's really cool. Whatever. It sounds like it's too good to be true. No, it's legit. I just need a recent photo and $400. 400 See, I told you. It's too good to be true. We can't, aff we can't afford it. Ugh, we're screwed again. What if I pay for it? You've got $400 lying around somewhere? Well, not exactly. But I have been working a lot recently, though. You have a job? Yeah. What do you do? What are you working at, Nerd Factory? Oh! -ho! Would you two zip it? Sorry, Roxy. You don't mind paying for the ID? No, it's fine. Hmm. And you said you need an update photo? Yeah, is that a problem? What about the full booth at the mall? Oh, yeah, that could work. Good idea, Missy. <laughs> you really think so? Ew. <laughs> I mean, shut up, nerd boy. Everyone shut up. I'm gonna ask me to send them all and I'll get you the picture. I'm not going. I'm not going. No, if it, not, if he, not if he's gonna be there. Fine. Fine. Missy isn't going. Missy isn't going either. Right, Missy? I'm not. No, you're not. Oh, Whatever. Come on, Golden. Let's get this over with. Okay. Where can I go? Shut up, you dumb skank. You shut up. So you have a job, huh? Yeah. And to make good money? I don't know. Good enough, I guess. Hmm. So if you had a girlfriend, would you like buy her clothes and stuff? Yeah, I suppose. Interesting. Come on to the photo booth on the second floor. Okay. Well, they said there's a second floor. <laughs> have you ever used Have you ever used one of these before? No. How do I look? You look pretty. I do. Yeah. You always look pretty. Oh, shut up. I don't always look pretty. Yeah, you do. Whatever. All right, I'm getting in. Okay. You sure you know how everything works? It's not rocket science. You put in the money and then press the button. All right. Are you done? Did you get everything you needed? Just one more picture. Okay. Get in here. Say cheese, Golden. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck, Golden? <laughs> Sorry, I slipped. Yeah, right. I was just trying to give you a little reward, you know. Ha <laughs> I guess this is a... I guess you're getting a bigger reward than I intended. Um, thanks, I guess. Oh, come on. You just got a photo with your face buried in my tit. You c what more could a nerd like you ask for? Just hurt don't hurt yourself jerking off to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I mean, I don't. Whatever, perv. Don't tell anybody either. If Dexter finds out about about that, he'll cause both. Yeah, yeah, he won't. Here, that one, 
think that one will work for me. Yeah, I think so. Good. Call give me a call when the idea is ready. Yeah, okay. Well, that was weird. I fell face first into Roxy's boobs and she didn't even get mad. As you get this photo, as you get this photo to Captain Terry at the pier. Hey, Captain. Oh, Captain, Captain. What's so about that fake ID? Oh, did you bring me a photo? Yep, I got it. Here you go. Bonnie's, ba Bonnie's backside. You weren't kidding, Skipper. You've netted yourself a siren. <laughs> yeah. You best be careful with this one. Siren songs are pretty by most men. Go chase them. I don't ever return. You, uh, got the $400 as well? Of course. I should call the girls and tell them when where to pick it up. Sounds like a plan, Skipper. I'll be back. Just a few more minutes, Skipper. Awesome, thanks, Captain Terry. Oh, my pleasure, lad. There you are, finally. This place wasn't easy to find. Ooh, what's the smell? This? Ew, disgusting. Disgust, disgusting. That is, this is how I make a living, you know. Gross. I hadn't realized you were pissed. You're a prissy sobbing type, Skipper. I'm not really. As if. I don't think he would stand a chance, nerd. Ho ho. Sigh. So you make fake IDs, huh? I. But don't go spreading the words, you hear? My little side business isn't exactly above broad. Well, I think it's pretty cool. How did you meet this guy, Golden? Oh, Skipper here and I are thick as thieves. He's quite the little fisherman, he is. Oh, you fish too? Yeah, every now and then. Yeah, fish freak me out. Aren't they, like, you know, slimy? Yeah, sometimes, I guess. Awesome. Oh, no. Oh, right, I meant. Would you two shut up? Well, the fake ID should be good to go. Oh, let me see. Finally, we won't have to rely on Dexter for booze. This weekend, I should be. This weekend is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it sounds like it's a lot of fun. Uh, you're not invited, Lunar. He's not? No way. Yeah, sorry, Golden. It's just I've got a reputation to uphold, you know? Now, wait a minute! The skipper here just spent $400 on you lot. And you're not even inviting him to the party? That's a real sad thing to do. I think he should come. Shut up, Missy. Everyone will see him with us. Yeah, we can't be seen hanging out with him. Well, I'm thinking maybe I'll give you this fake ID after all. That's right. $400 is a lot of money to that at his age. The age and you gals are going to have him return. Huh? You guys are going to have. Uh, and you gals are going to have to make a return on his investment. You serious, old man? We don't have any money. Well, maybe you should give him something else then. Like what? How about your friends give him a little peek of what they're hiding under them shirts? What? I'm not flashing him. I'll do it. Of course you will. You're such a skank. Hey, I'm not. Fine by me. Roxy, I'm not taking my tits out for him. Just shut up and do it, Becca. Nobody else is around. Yeah, but... Do you want booze or not? I do. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> now those are some nice perk ones. What don't you think, Skip? Yeah. You really like them, Golden? Yeah, definitely. See, Becca? Yeah, actually, like those little mosquito bites. What's not to like? Aha! Uh -huh. Cat's never met a pair of breasts he don't like. Come on, Becca. Everyone's waiting. Fine. Oh, uh -huh, not bad. Wow. Wow. See, way better than Missy's skittle tits. Screw you, Becca. At least mine aren't covered in freckles. So is what you know. Lots of guys like my freckles. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do you say, Skipper? What pair you like more? 
Any mm. mini money you I like Becca's. See, I knew Golden would agree. Even nerdy guys like them big tits. Sniff. See, what a baby. Can we have the ID now? What do you think, lad? Yeah, they ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Here you go, Pixie. Um, it's Roxy. Uh oh. Go on, Skipper. Let's get a bottle of tequila and head out to the dock for a bit. I'll tell you about the time I spotted a mermaid over the cove. Cool. She was naked as the day out. She was born and prettier than them snobby girl, three snobby girls combined. I had a lot of tequila that day, but I swear on my mother, she was blue as the sea. <laughs> oh my god. Fine, Roxy. We better get going and find Mr. Weeps a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-